right. time to go out hey everyone thanks for tuning in this is bama saltwater here we are up in some alabama creeks um whole lot of marsh grass beautiful area there's not one part of developed land here it's just all undeveloped and lots of wildlife really peaceful but we are trying to get some redfish flounder and maybe trout on some artificials um i have some gulp with me a berkeley gulp i have some spoons uh gold spoons i have a whole bunch of different baits paddle tails and whatever i'm going to start out by throwing some one of those spoons um and if not i'll probably switch to all reliable i love the berkeley gulp stuff so but let's uh let's get to fishing but hey if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button let's keep these videos going let's get to fishing all right as you can see what i'm using today fish all this grass is a johnson gold spoon weedless gold spoon uh, this one's a half ounce it's a little windy today be throwing it on 20 pound fluorocarbon i tie a loop knot to get the most action i can throwing it on a fluger uh c30 it's a president xt on a star seven foot rod Ooh, it's windy. You just want to start this thing off with a semi-slow retrieve. It's barely bouncing on the bottom. I'm going to try to get out of this wind here. There we go. Let's see if there's any redfish in here. I think I'm strong freaking wind, man. All right, it's time to fish some gold. <clears throat> Love this stuff. Just gonna fish it on a dockside tackle golden eye jig head. And I think I'm gonna stick with the new penny color. All right. There we go. Just dip it back in the juice. There we go. Oh, what was that? Was that a fish? Ooh, the fish did want it. The fish tried to grab it. something buying it there we go oh there we go oh dude yeah buddy what is it? see if i can go back uh. oh nice redfish nice redfish come on oh <laughs> get to put my net to use mm, come on oh yeah, buddy, what a pretty redfish. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'll take him. I'll take him any day of the week. That's awesome. He ate the gulp. I'm gonna keep him. All right, let's get a measure measure on him. Let's see, he... So you wanna get make sure the tip of the nose is on the board. And then this total length, and he's 19 inches. What a perfect redfish. I'm gonna keep him. I got a cooler on me that today. I'm gonna keep him. That is a gorgeous slot red. Look at him. That's awesome. Heck yeah. Hmm. All right. Got a really pretty slot redfish. He measured out to 19 inches. Uh, caught him on the Berkeley Gulp, uh, three inch shrimp on just a quarter ounce jig head. That right there is a perfect redfish. So I'm gonna get him in the cooler on ice and uh, and we'll keep him. But yeah, that's awesome. See if we can get another one. Right 
there's a fish. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> nice red fish. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Come on, buddy. Mm, mm. Come on. Come on. Mm. Come on. Get in this net. Get in this net. Get in this net. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. It looks like another really nice slot red. That is awesome. Man, what another beautiful red fish. Look at them. What a beautiful red fish. Man, what a gorgeous fish. And he just annihilated that bait too. Oh, let's see here. Let's see if we can get this. All right. He got the bait out. He kind of destroyed that bait. What a beautiful redfish. Got another one. And him, he's probably a keeper. Let's measure him on the board. Make sure his nose is touching the tip of the board. So it is now. And he is the exact same size as the other one. 19 inch redfish. Pretty much 19 and a half inch redfish. He's going to go in the cooler. All right. Got another beautiful 19 inch redfish on the gulp. This time I was using the white uh, swimming mullet, but he's gonna go in the cooler. That's two out of three. In Alabama, you're allowed to keep three redfish. They have to be 16 to 26 inches. You can keep one oversized per day. I don't keep the oversized ones, but I have two slots. I can fill in my limit with one more. That will be awesome if I can get a limit of redfish. Go on the grill or fry them or whatever. I don't keep a lot of fish, but these, I, I love eating these. These are awesome. So we'll get this beautiful fish in the cooler and get out and catch another one. <laughs> now these fish were caught using the gulp. It's made by Berkeley. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. And like I said in my previous video, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just like to suggest what I like to use and what works. And obviously you see in my videos, it works. Um, this is the, it's normally the three inch shrimp new penny in this pack, but I throw in a whole bunch. Um, but I'm using my first redfish I caught on the new penny shrimp. I'm out of shrimp in here and I'm using these little three inch mullet. This one's a white mullet. And uh, the tails do come off kind of easy on these, but as you can see, it worked really well. Redfish are not picky when it comes to bait presented right. And these gulps usually do the trick for me. Now I'm throwing them on a quarter ounce dockside tackle uh, golden eye jig head. This one's in silver and black nickel. I like that quarter ounce for fish around here. It's not too heavy uh, to drag the bottom, but it's also not, it's also heavy enough to be able to fill your bite even in this wind. And I just rig them, go through the nose, and I'm, I've done this so many times, I know where it comes out to be straight, but you want it straight on the hook, just like that. You don't want it lopsided. And then you can dip that. If you get a bite or right before you cast out, dip it back in the juice. Now the juice stinks real bad, but it's awesome. But dip it back in the juice and that bait's ready to go out for another one. I'm using it on 20 pound Yozuri HG fluorocarbon and my line is not frayed at all. There's no stretch and uh, you're able to feel that bite really well. Let's get out there and let's try to get another one along this bank here. Look at that cast. Get hooked. Oh, see that? You never know. You never know about those though. Feels like you're stuck on the, see there's a little bit better fish. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, he ain't no keeper, but that's a pretty red. Look at him. <laughs> Another little red fish. That's, that's what I call a rat red. Um, just a small undersized red fish. Really fun to catch. Very pretty. Look at the spot on their tail. I love these fish. Let's get the hook out of him and get him released. There you go, buddy. And look, the bait's still good. Let's cast out there and get another one.
I just want to take a quick second and listen how quiet it is. Man, I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, and look, I just let that bait sit there and I have a fish. <laughs> what is it? Ain't nothing big. It's another little red? Oh yeah, another little red fish. Okay. Oh, look at the spots on him. One, let's see, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six spots. Beautiful, beautiful little red fish. Let's let him go. He's undersized. But I was actually uh, doing that little listen to the nature and uh, he just bit it with that bait sitting there. That's how well this gulp stuff works. So I'm just letting y'all know. Wink, wink. This gulp, awesome bait. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, ooh. <laughs> See, crazy. That wasn't even big enough to worry about it. A little red fish. Hmm, got him. He's dark. Dark little red. On the half eaten swimming mullet. Toss him back. Unless you see unless you see stuff busting out in the middle. If you see stuff busting out in the middle, go for it. But if you're just fishing in a place like this, you want to fish next to these reeds. There's a better bite. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, a little bit better fish. There we go. I wonder if this will fulfill my limit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah it will. Is that a black drum? Oh yeah, it's a black drum. <laughs> it's a black drum, baby. Oh man, they fight so hard, dude. They fight so hard. This is a black drum. It's a puppy drum is what I call it. But man, look at him bending this reel over. Look at him, there he is. All right, come on. I'm not gonna keep you, so just get in the net. Oh, all right. I just landed what you call a black drum. It is related, it is in the same family as a redfish. This size right here is really good eating but they can get extremely, extremely big. Some people mistake them as sheep's head, but they don't have teeth. They have crushers in the back of their throat and their head's a lot more slanted compared to a sheep's head. Um, but these are in the drum family, really big fins. And I don't know if you heard him drumming just now, but I'm gonna unhook him. He ate that gulp pretty cool and throw him back. But this size is normally really 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 good eating but uh, i only want the redfish today so i'm gonna toss him back hear him drumming all right take this off of him all right buddy there he goes that was a fun catch right there that was on the Berkeley gold mullet, three inch mullet. That's awesome, that was really fun. No, like I said, those black drum are really good eating. Like they, they're a great table fare in that size. And they, but they can get really, really big as well. I've caught, uh, let's see, my biggest that I measured was 34 pounds, 34 pounds. But uh, I've seen them a little bit bigger than that. Usually if someone catches one, and they say they caught one, it's always a 50 pounder. But in reality, they're normally like 20 pounds, 25 pounds, 30 pounds, 35 pounds. Um, but uh, we're gonna, I'm after redfish today. But that was a great catch. That was a great bycatch. They're extremely fun to catch. But I'm gonna dip this back in the juice, cast it back out there and see what else we can get. Alrighty, I'm gonna end the video here. 
Uh, caught that really nice black drum and those uh, really nice 19 inch redfish. Had a pretty fun day. Beautiful place out here in uh, South Alabama. Well, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below if you have. Thank you. If you like this video, hit that like. I want to thank the good Lord above for everything he does for us, and we'll see you later.